Hello again and welcome to Mr. Mayor's Book Chats. Got a couple books I'm going to tell you about today. The first one has been around for about 15 years now. I'm looking for Alaska. This is John Green's first novel. And some of you may have watched the show already on Hulu. But if you haven't, this is about a kid named Miles, but they call him Pudge. And he's just kind of done with living his safe life. Um, he wants excitement in his life. So when he goes to um, a new boarding school called Culver Creek Boarding School, his life kind of becomes the opposite of safe. It, he is just thrown into this whole new world, and especially when he meets a girl down the hall named Alaska. And Alaska is gorgeous. She's clever. She's funny. She's a little bit screwed up and self-destructive. And Miles is just fascinated with Alaska. And the more he kind of hangs around with her and the more he gets to know her, the more he is drawn to Alaska. And Alaska, like I said, is a little bit self-destructive and a little bit kind of screwed up. So Miles kind of follows that descent as well. This is a great book if, you're, if you like books that have deep characters, um, check this one out. Next one is more of a scary book called The Rules for Vanishing. And the book starts out one year after um, Sarah's, Sarah is the main character. Her sister vanished one year ago. And the townspeople say that she simply ran away from home with her boyfriend. But Sarah doesn't believe that because Becca, when she was alive, had been obsessed with this ghost named Lucy Gallows. And this ghost allegedly haunted the town. And <clears throat> this there was this mysterious road in town that Lucy traveled on before she disappeared. And the road vanishes and doesn't show up to just anybody. And Becca was fascinated with this. And she kept looking for this road. And right before Becca vanished, the last thing Sarah overheard was Becca saying, we know where the road is. We've got the keys. That's all we need to find her. I'm not backing down now. Not after everything we've done to get this close. And then she's never seen again. So one year later, Sarah and a couple of her friends meet in the forest to search for Becca. And the mysterious road unfurls before them. And they travel down this road and they quickly find that this road has vengeful spirits and kind of broken, angry creatures around every corner. And they are in for quite a ride. This reminded me of the Blair Witch Project. Um, it's got all kinds of like photos and it's kind of telling the story backwards of evidence that was found alongside this road. The next book is called The American Dream and it is a graphic novel um, by Xing Yin Kor an immigrant who came to America and she was from Malaysia, but she said when she came to America, she had two ideas of America. The first was Los Angeles, full of beautiful people and sunlight and open roads and everything's great. And the other was the America in that she read about in the Grapes of Wrath, filled with dusty roads and big hopes. So she decides that she is going to take her little dog and go on this great epic road trip to see what really America is. This book won't take you long to read. Um, it's got all kinds of colorful pictures and sparse writing, but it's just kind of an interesting look at America and how it's viewed through someone else's eyes. Next one is called The Boys in the Boat, and this is the true story um, of the 1936 rowing American rowing team that was made up of just a bunch of working class boys from the American West um, who all went to the University of Washington. And they kind of get together and train together. And it was this huge underdog story about this rowing team taking down kind of the elite rowing team of Germany. So this is set kind of against the backdrop of the Great Depression as well as the rising Nazi party in Germany. So if you like history or sports or underdog stories, 
take take a chance on this one. And then the last book I'm going to talk to you about. I love this book. Um, kind of a book like I haven't read before. It is based on the true story of Artemisia Gentileschi, this artist during um, the 17th century in Rome. So the main character, her mother dies when she was 12. And suddenly she has this choice is to become a nun in a convent or spend a life grinding pigment for her father's paint because her father is this famous painter. And she decides to grind pigment for her father. But by the time she was 17, she did a whole lot more than grinding pigment. She was one of the most talented painters in all of Rome, but nobody knew her name because in the time, women had very, very few rights. And so her father would take credit for all of her paintings. And then later on in her life, she is violently raped. And again, just because of the way women were treated, it was kind of, she had another choice to stay silent or to kind of go after justice, no matter the cost. This is a story that I had really not much knowledge about, but it's fascinating. It's told in verse. Um, the language is beautiful. So really check this one out. This is a fantastic book. As always, thanks for watching. Come see me down in the library.